33. Be natural. The language of the nature is universal. Our mind engaged in thinking about the world and our material gains and our existence with our lively bodies and minds are all the products of the nature. Nature is the source of unlimited power. Nature is basically a very fine object. Every element, power, tendency and habit is comparative. Nature is the only beloved of us all who has always given us pleasure only but no hurt of any kind. As such sometimes we take the shelter of the nature alone and cure all the wounds of our minds. Nature consists greatness, non-egoism, beauty, taste, fragrance, sweet tones and soft touches. We born naked, give birth nakedly, nakedness is natural. We have come to the world nakedly and shall go back from here in the same way. The suitable place for nudism is outdoor, is the sun and in the water. If our customs and morality recommend it, nudism will very soon lose its sex appeal. Human being is the only creature whose nudism hurts his nearest ones. Whatever may be the color of my dress, I am naked under my dress. It is only human beings who keeps their real character hidden publicly. The more a man wants to prove that his ancestors were not monkeys, the more he proves that they were rather donkey. The planets and the stars are far away from the Earth, as such we are affected a little by them. According to statistics, forecast is normally correct up to 6%, if it is forecasted carefully. A man with an average common sense can forecast more appropriately than this. Bad news goes fast while good news is engaged in fishing. Shouting removes coolness and silence removes warmness. As a priest goes away as soon as he gets his honorarium likewise cloud and storm also go away by south wind. Cloud forecasts an immediate rainfall and bright sunshine forecasts a fine day. So it is useless to calculate and find out weather forecast. It is understood that there will be rain if cloud is seen. If the cloud is seen scattered, it is understood that there will be rain soon. Of course, along with this, frequent light rain is also required. If this symptom is seen, a present should be ready to plow his land. If not today, tomorrow there will be rain surely. If a man takes birth when the earth is nearest point to the Mars, he will have risks from his enemies. On second day possibility is therefore loss of his wealth, on the third day possibility of success for him. On the fourth day his enemies will be increased. On the fifth day possibility therefore his early death, on the sixth day he will be wealthy, on the seventh day possibility of mourning is there for him, on the eighth day probability is there for him to be hurt by an arms, on the ninth day he will be subject to failure in his attempts, on the tenth day it is a sign of good reputation for him, on the eleventh day he will be happy from all sides and if on the twelfth day risk of his early death remains there. When a person is born when the earth remaining nearest point to the mercury, he seems to fall in love with somebody, on the second day he will wealthy, on the third day risk for insulation is there for him, if on the fourth day he will be successful to fulfill his desires, on the fifty day he may face troubles, sixth day forecast gaining of land property, seventh day forecast sickness, eighth day forecast gaining wealth, ninth day forecast serious illness, 10th day forecasts happiness, 11th day forecasts earning of huge amount of money and 12th day forecasts a patient personality. If somebody is born when the earth comes to he nearest point of the Jupiter, it signifies a threat, on the second day he will acquire a huge wealth, on the third day it indicates troubles for him, fourth day indicates loss of common sense, fifth day indicates great happiness, sixth day indicates unfair signs. Seventh day indicates association with the king. Eighth day indicates loss of a huge wealth. Ninth day indicates increase of wealth. Tenth day indicates separation from beloved. Eleventh day indicates honor and wealth for the newly and the twelfth day indicates illness. When the earth remains to the nearest point from the Venus, his enemies will be finished. On the second day he will gain wealth. The third day indicates happiness, fourth day indicates enjoyment of wealth, fifth day indicates that he will be the father of a son, sixth day indicates increase of enemies, seventh day indicates mourning, eighth day indicates fulfillment of desires, ninth day indicates various gains, tenth day begets troubles, eleventh day indicates gaining wealth and the twelfth day indicates long life.
When the Saturn is to the nearest point of the Earth, it is a sign of losing wealth. The second day indicates mental worries. The third day indicates finishing of enemies and gaining wealth. The fourth day indicates increase of enemies. The fifth day indicates that he will be the father of a son. The sixth day indicates fulfillment of desires. The seventh day indicates risk of hazard. The eighth day indicates risk of illness. The ninth day indicates losing wealth. The tenth day indicates increase of good reputation. The eleventh day indicates getting wealth and the twelfth day indicates too much troubles. When the eclipse is to the nearest point of the earth, it is a sign of losing wealth. The second day indicates foreign migration. The third day indicates getting a numerous profit. The fourth day indicates illness. The fifth day indicates that mental worries. The sixth day indicates great happiness. The seventh day indicates risk of fire hazard. The eighth day indicates risk of early death. The ninth day indicates being ashamed. The tenth day indicates increase of good reputation. The eleventh day indicates enjoyment of great happiness. And the twelfth day indicates too much troubles. But all these theories is not proved to be accurate in all cases. Our lives are too short, so we should make proper use of it. The dreams of the first lunar day or any lunar day of the bright fortnight increase happiness. The dreams of second, fourth, tenth and eleventh lunar days go in vain. The dreams of the third lunar day and fourth day of the dark fortnight indicate good result. Dream of the fifth lunar day indicates partial good result. The dreams of the sixth and fourteenth lunar day, of a full moon night and a fifth night of the dark fortnight do not possess soon. The dream of the seventh lunar day and not expressed to others comes into reality. The dream of the eighth, ninth and the thirteenth night of a lunar month come into reality very soon. Dream of the twelfth night of a lunar month comes into reality scarcely. Dream of the eleventh night of the dark fortnight brings a bad result. Dream is a part of prophecy. So, don't express it to others but accept it positively. A dream express various matters without the help of a man's mentality in his surroundings. During dreaming a person's subconscious brain expresses many things which the dreamer desires when he was awakened. The more a man dreams, the less he believes on it. A man fulfills his desires through the dreams. During the dream subconscious mind of a person wants to materialize its suppressed desires on the basis of its environment and society. A dream expresses the unexpressed desires of a man. A man suffers mentally too much to see his dream in reality. Wandering of imagination while sense organs are sleeping, is called a dream. A dream makes a situation like that of a telepathy. But he should find out the meaning of his dream by thinking deeply about it. Lead your life properly realizing the indications of dreams with great consciousness and intellect. A soul which moves within a limited boundary remains squeezed and self-centered. As such it does not become sufficiently sensitive. Although a man dreams more in such stages. Otherwise, when a soul remains sensitive and expended, it takes position in the centripetal point of self-judgment and consciousness about any place, time, person, occurrence cause, object and matter. Generally there are three kinds of dreams, those are, real, allegorical and baseless dreams. We can differentiate between our dreams if we think a bit about it. Meanings and results of dreams differ from person to person. A human mind never remains inactive. A man's mind goes to deep thoughts when it becomes free from the thoughts of practical life. One can communicate with the spiritual world through uttering the different names of Allah again and again or meditation or during sleep or after his death. Practical life is a direct phenomenon and a dream is an indirect one, one is concrete and the other is abstract. Feel, hear, taste and touch your aims and objectives by regenerating your imaginations by your faith, desires and expectations. All desires of a man are fulfilled by his willpower. Children are having more spiritual powers than other. Don't each judge with the scale of reasoning whatever you get, see or do during wandering in spiritual world. But accept the first thought of imagination comes in your brain is true and important and don't each give any second thought about it. There is nothing other than a dream which can build our future. What is an utopia today becomes a reality tomorrow. Human being is the only creature who live in dreams. 
dreaming is good but to live in dreams is not good at all. If somebody daydreams sitting idly and build a castle in the air, his way to go forward will be closed forever. Because life is not a bed of roses, the cruelties of practical life smashes daydreams into pieces. Get out of the network of imagination and face the reality. Because reality is too tough and an imagination remains as a more imagination there. Human lives and world have been intolerable, if they had no dreams or imagination. We want to fill the gaps of our lives with imaginations and dreams. Imagination is sweet but reality is too tough. He who wants to see spotless things, in fact, wants to see such a thing which never existed is not existing and will not exist at any time. Human beings are always engaged in remembering. When a person loses his memory, he loses everything but in a live body. Present is the only truth and the rest is imagination. The root of imagination is also the sense organs. Power of imagination keeps emotion alive. Imagination encourages a man to love his life and the world. A creative man cannot create anything without the power of imagination. Imagination is the combination of past memories and future dreams, which is an image of a man's personal life and his surrounding. A man imagines, as such, he is free. An imagination makes a possibility possible. Reality is more surprising than an imagination. We can imagine only from our remembrance. A well-organized imagination gives birth to a great art. Imagination is more necessary than knowledge. Mankind is ruled by its imaginations. Powers of thinking and imagination are the two essential powers for leading a man's livelihood. It is an old maxim that if somebody does not practice thinking and imagining from his boyhood, he won't be able to start it during his matured age. The power which encourages a man to do something good is his imagination. Nothing can be discovered without power of imagination.